I've been experimenting a little bit with uh, new ways to carry my notes, my sermon notes behind the pulpit. I'm, I've been a um, tablet guy for a long time, just put my notes. I save all my notes to um, OneDrive in my computer. So I just save all my sermon notes to uh, to my tablet, and I always preach from my tablet. But I've been wanting to try something new, and um, I always thought it was really cool when I would see J.D. Greer. Uh, he's a he's a pastor in North Carolina. He preached from one of these. I'd see him preach from one of these little A5 size binders, but he has all of his notes in there. And he's a he's like me. Uh, as whereas he's a manuscriptor, so he he manuscripts sermons out, and that's the way I do it also. And me being someone who loves leather and <clears throat> in the leather business, um, I wanted to hop on some of these products. Now, I am really pumped about the A5 leather binders. I have a couple of different styles to show you today. There are two others that I don't have with me in this video, uh, but just know that. The two others I have, I have one that's a regular letter size, uh, so it's your regular copy size paper, and it's a, a brown pull-up leather. And then I have an, an A5 in that same exact format, but it's an A5 with the brown pull-up leather, and those are available on the website if you want to go check that out. And you can click on the link below and you'll have the information there. But these two here that I'm going to show you, I'm really stoked about. So this one is a it's very floppy goat skin it's leather lined and goat skin leather on the outside with the perimeter stitched now these binders here now you'll see that the the binder the back of the binders are hidden underneath this piece of leather here um, and this has the logo the the lion logo stamped in gold in all of these here and these are all the same leather uh, very, very floppy. I mean, this just wrinkles up just like a good goat skin cover on your on your Bible. And what I like about these, this is an older uh, ABBA Bible that I've had produced years ago. This is dirty. Years ago, the ones that we've been producing lately are closer to this color here. Uh, they're not as dark as this. Uh, but the, the team that I have doing this, I have two leather studios that I work with. Um, I build a lot of stuff, make a lot of stuff myself, but my bags, uh, my portfolios, and now these uh, are made through a leather team that I like very much that I've worked very closely with for almost a year now. And um, anyway, they produced these. I've been working with them, trying to figure out this distressed uh, look, and they, they've got a good concept down. I, I like it. The distressed patterns on these are all going to be unique. They're all going to be different. So you, if you order one on the website, you can't say, you know, I want, I want a, a dark spot right here because I'm just not going to be able to produce that for you. It's going to be a random look. Every single one's completely unique. Uh, and again, this one is, uh, the leather cover is this nice goat skin, very soft, very like spongy feeling, kind of really floppy a5 size binder and again they all have the logo stamped on the inside give you a look at a few more there's one and then here's here's a black one the brown interior <clears throat> this black leather they use feels a little bit different just as soft but it almost feels like it has a protective coating of some kind on this one still just as flexible soft all those good things okay so the next one i want to show you this is the one that I'll make this in house. Uh, this is the Veg Tan. The, let me move this Bible. This is the Veg Tan A5 size. Uh, before I explain the Veg Tan, uh, let me explain to you why I use A5 size. You can go to Amazon. I'll try to put a link to this also. You can go to Amazon and you can buy just a huge, thick thing of this A5 size paper. I personally, I really I make things and I normally <clears throat> buy things to sell or produce things to sell that I like. So I make a lot of A5 size and veg tan. I sell a lot of these A5 size because I just personally like them. I think this is the perfect size for preaching. I think as far as a preaching binder, it fits in the hand 
better when you get into the larger letter size. Now, some people like them. This is just my personal preference. But if you get into that letter size, you're just getting into something very large in the hand. And if you're having something that's rather floppy and that large, um, it's not as portable. Just in, in my opinion, you can feel differently about that. It's totally fine. But here is, uh, this is one that I preached out of last week. This is a vegetable tanned A5 binder. So this leather comes in a, I didn't bring a piece with me, but it comes in a really light color, almost the color of this paper. So I buy my vegetable tan leather. I buy a side of a cow. So it's a complete side of a cow and it, it's a light light color and i have lots of leather dye and leather conditioners and stuff so all these vegetable tan uh, leathers that you get from me is these are all done this light is awful these are all done by hand by me so i cut i cut this leather myself i add a spine here in the center so i add an additional strip of leather there in the center these are going to have the antique brass binders and they screw off, so you have a little screw here. If this mechanism ever messes up, you can purchase another one, and then you can fasten it back on here. So this should last you forever and ever. Uh, this cover, I can't imagine messing up on you. Uh, but the process goes is I, I cut this piece of leather. I cut this piece of leather out. I hand dye these. This is a uh, dark chocolate. This is the... Uh, British tan. I literally just completed this one. I completed this one, picked it up, brought it over here with me, and am shooting the video. So I've not even done anything with this. We'll look at it in a second. But this one I've had about a week, and I wad this one up a lot. I get it, and again, it's flexible. You can turn it. You can twist it. You can. It opens flat. It stays open. All those good things. It's going to stay closed on you. They're blind stamped with my logo there in the corner. On the veg tan, you can request to not have the logo line if you don't want it on there. But here, here's the British tan. I literally just completed this one. Man, this lighting is so bad. Um, see, that's better. Okay, I just finished this one. This is the British tan. And again, okay, so let's just look at it. I just completed it. It's closed. So you see that it's it's closed just like this. And let's open it. There it is. You can, uh, yeah, just to kind of prove, I'll use the one finger deal. Here we go. See, they open. Even Veg Tan is going to open and close. They're going to stay closed. They're going to stay open. And they're very, these are flexible. They are flexible, flexible covers. The one thing about Vegetable Tan, Vegetable Tan breaks in differently than something like a goat skin. Like something, like your Bible that you're used to. Of course, your Bible is going to break in. It's going to gain character and all these things. But uh, And so will this. So will this here. It's going to certainly gain character. All leather is going to do that. But vegetable tan does it on a, just a different level because vegetable tan is, is normally pretty uniform, uh, straight kind of a leather. And the more you use it and the more you wad it up, and I'll sit here and just kind of play with this cover, the more you do this, the more this breaks in, the more wrinkles it gathers, the floppier this thing is going to become so the more you use this the better and better and better in my opinion it's going to become it will look used so you can kind of see maybe some wrinkles see how it kind of wrinkles a little bit there if that bothers you then veg tan may not be what you're looking for but anyway you can find these now you can <clears throat> i sell these occasionally on the on my Facebook page, so you can find them some on the Facebook page. I'll do little flash sales while I'll have some completed and ready to go out the door. Uh, but you can order these all day long on the website. So if you're in a hurry to get one and you don't want to wait around for me to list something on, on Facebook, just go to the website, www.forthekingtradingco.com and go ahead and order one. And uh, let's see, these, the veg tan is only gonna take about, for me to finish complete and get it to your house, you know, maybe two weeks. And and these will probably take maybe maybe three weeks at the most. So um, please go ahead and order today. And listen, don't be put off. I was, I was a little bit put off by hopping in on these things because I didn't know much about the A5 size paper because I just, I don't know about printing. I'm just not a, I don't know, computer savvy guy, but I bought a bunch of A5 paper from Amazon 
And it's so easy to do front and back notes. Uh, where is mine? It's easy to do front and back notes on these deals just like this. I mean, your printer literally has an A5 uh, option. <laughs> so you just go to your printer whenever you type up your notes and you just click A5 and you put that piece of paper in your printer, hit print, and it prints it. And then you flip the paper around if you want to do front and back. So, so, so easy to do. And the paper I got, this paper here is a little bit thicker. I use fountain pens a lot. So I'll kind of, after I print notes, sometimes I'll write stuff in last minute. And uh, also I like to have a few extra sheets in the back just to, uh, if there's something I need to remember, pray for somebody out loud at the end of service, or if I need to uh, speak with a couple after, so I don't forget, I might write something on the back of the paper there. So it is handy to have paper versus a tablet in the pulpit with you for notes. Anyway, any questions, please uh, leave a comment below. Go to my Facebook page. You can reach out to me there. You can reach out to me through my email, and I'll leave a link for that also below. Take care. God bless.